of stuck here. The cops won't bother me. Hey guys, this is my 2007 Kimco Buddy 125. I just picked it up and I am going to be working on it. And I have it right next to my SH 150. It is bigger and taller than this one. This is in size, it is much smaller. The engine, it's a 125, so it does move pretty well. And this one is a 150, so not that big of a difference, but there are some really nice things about this scooter that this one doesn't have. The wheels on the Genuine, on the Buddy, are 10 inches. And when you look at the SH150, they use the 16 inch wheels. When you look at the rear tire, the rear wheel of my Yamaha Super Tenre, that's a 17 inch wheel. So the SH150 is using almost motorcycle-like wheels. And my uh, Ninja 250, did use 16 inch wheels and I do have one that I'll be installing on this screw. Oh, that's, oh, that's quite a mess. The start of a little bit of a project. All of this is I go around and I clean it and I lubricate all the cables and any connectors that I see. The horn is a pretty decent one actually. Normally you don't see these horns. I'm also going to be looking at all the bolts and making sure that all of them are in there. But just so you guys know, to remove this plastic, there's also these bolts here, and you get them from the, the back side of the scooter. The problem is that they came off on the scooter, and on the right side, it's actually broken off on the plastic. You can see the, uh, the bolt is still attached to the red plastic here. The plastic is pretty bad. I can see if I can remove it and re-weld it onto the plastic just by melting it. But the front wheel is pointing in a different direction than the steering. So initially I thought you'd get you'd have to get it to forks, but no. There's this bolt here, and using a 14 millimeter reach in here and and do it. It's a pretty tight bolt. And there's another bolt on the other side that will rotate. 14 millimeter will loosen it and then all you have to do is stand over the bike and center it and then retighten it. So this might take a while to figure out but it's kind of like what you would do on a bicycle if you crash. And this has to be very tight. And look at my front wheel and it looks pretty straight. I'm going to take it for a quick ride just to see if it's centered. It looks like it's nice and centered. It is so much better than before. If you feel that it needs a little tweaking, you can push it a little bit and kind of looking at it. It has to be perfect and it just takes a little bit of time to get it all straightened out. And it's, it's kind of bothers me here. So I'm just going to spread this out. So this is nice and clean here now. Oh. And on this one I don't have the plastic but if I use a bigger bolt I should be able to tighten it up. Look at this air filter screw is missing and normally that's not something you would see on a, a bike that people really like so okay yeah only three screws the filter actually looks pretty decent and it is attached to a snorkel back there so you can't really remove it but it looks pretty clean I think this is kind of like just a very cheap Chinese one. I am just going to clean the surrounding area. So let's go ahead and put these back. But um, gets the um, 
trunk open and it seems to be getting stuck. What should I say if I need to go to the shithole? 